the freshest thing on the minds of jurors is what investigators found inside a safe belonging to murder victim Chris Roden Sr. Ohio BCI agent Todd Fortner testifying late this afternoon saying that the images you're seeing now show the safe's contents, including handguns, at least 16 long guns, more than $20,000 in cash, and also some small bags of drugs. Fortner told a prosecutor that a fire department has to use, had to use gear known as the jaws of life just to pry the safe open. Now, a prosecutor brought up the safe and then one of Wagner's attorneys also questioned Fortner about it, but as is often the case in a complex trial like this one, the relevance of that safe remains murky right now. We should know more in the coming days. What is a little bit clearer, though, is testimony by another BCI agent, Shane Hanshaw. He testified about a camera on Chris Roden Sr.'s property that Hanshaw hoped would have captured images of the Roden's killers on that day back in April 2016, that fateful day. But when he looked for a recording device back then, there was none. We attempted to look for any kind of re recording device that would have maybe documented what happened or given us some idea. I uh, would trace the wires back. They led inside and uh, we found nothing, no recording device connected to this system. Job. Hanshaw saying there on the stand that it appeared that someone forced their way into that outbuilding where the, that camera was, also those disconnected uh, wires. Now, there was a short time later after that testimony, sort of a surprise today in court, if you can call it that, but attorneys for both sides, well, they agreed that there's no DNA evidence linking the defendant in this trial, George Wagner IV, or any of his accused family members, uh, linking them to that first crime scene where Chris Roden Sr. and his cousin Gary Roden were killed. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News.